Hello and welcome to everyone to today's uh, e seminar. Thank you first of all for your time and uh, I hope um, you'll find this uh, session helpful. So before we start, uh, just a quick uh, short uh, legal notice about the content uh, described in this uh, document. and uh, the agenda for today. So um, the um, presentation today will be structured into four main sections. First, I will just uh, do a brief introduction on uh, a general introduction into the Simula Electromagnetic Simulation offering. So what uh, DASO Systems uh, have, has to offer in terms of um, electromagnetic simulation. Um, we will then look at um, the uh, latest new features presented in the uh, R2021 uh, release of Opera and CST software, specifically in the context of uh, particular applications. Uh, and we will start with the uh, simulation of the electric drive system. Uh, and we will first look at what needs to be simulated as part uh, of an electric uh, drivetrain and uh, also at what scale these uh, simulations can be done. We will talk then about some of the latest developments in the CST machines task, um, so still staying in the low frequency domain. Um, this um, uh, latest developments which allow the creation of uh, reduced order models for electrical machines and we will look at how these reduced order models behave in a system level uh, simulation. We will also talk in this uh, part here about the new features that um, help connect the electromagnetic domain with the mechanical and thermal simulations uh, as part of a complete multi-physics um, uh, analysis and in the context of the uh, Dassault Systems 3D experience platform. We will then uh, look at the, um, we'll, fo we'll, we'll focus on the latest developments in Opera uh, for um, electrical uh, machine design and optimization. And we will talk about the new options um, for uh, defining motion in Opera and about the uh, Opera Machines Designer, which allows users to quickly and easily build, set up and solve their designs. So first of all, just a look at the uh, offering that uh, uh, Dassault Systems has for simulation. So um, the Simulia group in DASO Systems is uh, focused on uh, delivering software that enables uh, simulation and uh, what we say is we enable users to reveal the world uh, in which we live in. And as part of this um, simulation uh, offering, of, as part of uh, the Simulia brand, we have two products that um, cover the electromagnetic field. So we have CST Studio Suite and we have uh, Opera FEA. And together, CST and Opera cover the entire range of electromagnetic simulation with best-in-class solutions for whatever application that um, you might be interested in and covering the entire uh, freq frequency range. Just um, as a, a complement to today's presentation, which as I said, it's focused on low-frequency application. You can also find online uh, the update presentation for Simulia CST Studio Suite, which focuses on the latest developments specific for high-frequency applications. So if you're interested in things uh, such as uh, antenna simulation or EMC or cable simulation and, and many, many other um, electromagnetic high-frequency simulations, please uh, have a look. Um, this presentation is already available uh, on uh, demand. So when we talk about uh, low frequency applications, obviously uh, we can talk about a very wide range of uh, applications and industries. For example, but this is by no means an exhaustive uh, list, we can talk about uh, the transport and mobility industry, so electric cars, uh, electric vehicles, um, buses, ships, uh, and so forth. Uh, we can talk about the industrial equipment, um, so here we can include um, automations uh, which are, um, the, the vast majority of them uh, rely on uh, electric drives. 
Um, but also we can talk about life sciences, so um, simulations of uh, electromagnetic devices which are used in the uh, medical uh, uh, domain. And also very important, the high-tech uh, industries uh, where we look at uh, research at uh, very specific um, electromagnetic devices that are um, used in the research uh, areas um, uh, around the world. And uh, really uh, more and more over the last uh, few years um, it's, it's becoming more and more obvious that we cannot talk about electromagnetics in isolation but um, it, the electromagnetic is part of a multi-physics process for all of these uh, applications that uh, that we were talking about. So considering electromagnetics not just um, by itself but uh, in the more complex um, environment where for example um, we take the forces that we calculate in the electromagnetic simulation and we pass them to a, a mechanical analysis <clears throat> from which we can bring back let's say uh, deformations uh, which will again um, have an effect on the electromagnetics and uh, similarly if we look at the thermal simulations the losses and the temperatures um, can be input and outputs for, for this uh, analysis, for the coupling within all of this analysis. So you can see it's a very wide uh, area of applications but it also um, involves much more than just uh, electromagnetics in isolations and we, 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 are, we recognize this and some of these uh, features that we are going to talk about today um, are actually um, addressing this particular need for, for multiphysics. So the transportation and mobility industry uh, is experienced, um, experiencing the most revolutionary transformation since a, a century ago and the most important trend we see for the future uh, automobile, for the future car is the electrification.